Hey guys, Brian again with PNV Homestead. I wanted to show you the salad bar LED area and the, uh, the growth on the kale we've had since we seeded it. And then some of the uh, Spretnak lettuce and the, kind of the differences I'm seeing in that. So here's the kale that we're seeding in this tray. And I went ahead and just stuck a, a temperature probe in there just to show that it's right around 80 degrees underneath the feet here. I keep it around that temperature and I get good germination that way. And it seems to have really healthy root growth in these trays. So I just wanted to put a little temperature thing in there to show you guys that's kind of what I'm running with my heat map that's underneath there I have it set to I believe uh, 86 and it keeps the soil temperature right around 80 so that gives me a good germination rate and then on these trays once I crank that heat up I did get some better germination on some of these and uh, you can see these they're ready to harvest and then I left these to go a little bit longer and I don't know what's going on in the center of those but it looks like some of those leaves are starting to curl so I'm gonna have to probably cut these out cut the center of the heart out and then use these leaves as our uh, salad but all these seeds are supposed to be the spretnak that look like this but I mean some of these obviously they don't look the same <laughs> I mean they're just kind of growing crazy so you get a few that look like this some that get this really weird leafiness so I don't know if their pelletized seed from high mowing is the uh, the same on this spretnak because this almost looks like some of the other seed that I've seen on their catalog but uh, you know it's all edible but it's just kind of a, if you get any of that seed, you may want to, you know, do your own trials and see if you get anything that looks like that. But uh, it's, all, it's all good for me. All right, this has been Brian from P&B Homesteading. Talk to you again.